我真的讲的 right now。<笑>2019. Now, UG Machines have got a claim. Jerry, what is your claim? Uh, this is the biggest machine in uh, Taipei Timtos 2019. Now, that is a big claim because we've walked six different halls. It's absolutely there's loads and loads of machines. So, to have that, so tell me about the machine now. Uh, this machine has uh, four plus one uh, axis. So four four axis moving simultaneously, and we can. Um, we, we can fulfill customer requirement in one machine, including turning, milling, drilling, and also side parking milling. With the additional Y axis, we can do more multi functional machining requirement. Okay. Never heard of this brand before, perfect jet. Look at this actually turning this application, this, this wheel. Uh, this table will turn at 500 RPM. So you can imagine you can do your turning as we're demonstrating here, but of course, with this. Uh, B-axis having a tool changer as well, you're able to do your milling, your drilling and all those other operations, one hit machining, perfect jet, never heard of them. Collins also found something interesting on this stand, so over to him. Thanks for that Paul, now I wanted to showcase this machine, so straight away you're thinking 5-axis, pretty standard machine, so your Siemens control in the background, your table here which is going to turn on the C-axis and then your A-axis there, tool changer in the background, but the big reveal we like to do, now this, they've doubled it up, what can you say? So, Great, greatly improving your productivity. Paul and I, I haven't seen this before, it's from Perfect Jet in Taiwan, and, and as usual, manufactured in Taichung. A really popular machine here in Taiwan, the Kao Ming. This is the KMC, uh, demonstrating a rather nice application as well, obviously a full five axis machine. These are available from Lead Machine Tools in the UK. If you're looking for a machine of this size and this nature, with that bridge construction, you've got a lot of stability wherever you're machining. I tell you what, this stand has been rammed for the last few days, uh, and it's not just machines that they're showing, they've got some rather good entertainment going on as well. So you have to try out the local bars as well, and we found a fantastic one here. Uh, and I'm going to just in, uh, say, talk to these guys here. Um, go, go, guys! Uh, uh, look at 
the hospitality oh, here. Is, uh, uh, t- tell us your names, your names, your names. My name is Paul. Your name's Paul? Yes. Oh, it's the same as basically. And your name? And Doris. Doris, you are Doris. Yeah. Okay, so 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 this is Doris, and uh, this is uh, Paul, and we have had um, uh, fantastic hospitality here in this bar this evening. You have to try all the local establishments. What is the local beer? What is the local beer here? The local beer. What do you call the local beer? Local beer. Yeah, beer. Drink the local beer. Oh, local beer. Taiwan 18 days. Taiwan 18 days. Yes. Oh, very nice. Uh, uh, Taiwan so, uh, number one. 18 days. How, how, how long has that been brewed for? Uh, oh, maybe, maybe 18 days. Who knows? 18 really days. good bar. Really good bar. Really good bar. Now, when you've enjoyed your drink and your meal, you need to make a choice. When you need to go to the toilet, which one are you going to use? And that's the case here. Do I go to the left, or do I go to the right? I think on this occasion. This way. <laughs> oh, better? Yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what, mate. That food, good, that, good beer. This good beer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. 18, 18, 18 days old. Yeah, where they get it from? <laughs> I'll tell you what, that food earlier was absolute champion. Yeah. But I'm going to have to go to the pod. Sorry, mate. to the end of your evening, you've got to remember where you put your moped. Paul, fantastic component here. Tell me about it. What a press tool this is. Look at the machining done on this. This is made on a quick jet machine. Similar type of uh, vehicle to how I got here to Taiwan. Yeah, we had to slum it in economy. You're in your own jet. Absolutely. Now, these, you keep these in production and you do that as a result of all the crashes you have because this is actually a bumper press tool for a bumper. So if it wasn't for all the accidents that you had, they wouldn't need these, would they? As you do know, I do like a bit of EDM. Now, I had to show you this machine because it's absolutely amazing. Eight axes, yes, eight axes. Now, I can't remember them all, so I do apologise. But look, you've got, ro- oh, look at that, perfect. Rotary table, just tilting, rotating there on both axes there. You've also got the X, Y, and the Z. Now, I'll, I'll step back because that's coming in to do the, the fast hole drilling there. So this is, just to clarify, your fast hole drilling. Now, back you go, Chris, please, because I want to showcase this. Look, nice little touch. The tool changer there. So to keep your lights out running, that's absolutely amazing. Now, stepping back, as you can see, you've got the big column up here, which is Z axis. And just to talk about the envelope, you're talking 1.2 by 1.2 by one meter in the Z. So that's a huge, huge envelope. And what sort of parts? Aerospace main parts, so parts similar to this. This is actually a bicycle rim. That's about it, so I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm gonna close the door up, fill it up, and I'm actually gonna get in there and have a bath. I'm probably get banned from Taiwan, but never mind. I love big machines, and we've seen some on this show already. But here's another one. These are turning machines, SFM. All these machines that you're going to see in the next few seconds are made here in Taiwan. Uh, huge flatbed lathes here. This one has got a turret on it, but oh, I just touched it and it moved. Maybe that was a, a deliberate activity. And then this one, which is even better, even, I say even better, even bigger. Look at this, six metres in turning length here. Uh, and again, this machine as well has a turret, uh, and quite a novel chuck on there as well, but they're big, heavy lathes, heavy duty lathes, built here in Taiwan and on show this week at Timtos. Now we know Colin's seen the biggest machine here at Timtos, but this could qualify as being the smallest. This little turning centre uh, is simply that, it's a small turning centre. You've obviously got a, uh, a platen there that holds your tools. If you're doing small components, uh, just turning them, then this could be ideal, and it's fed by a gantry. So automation is playing a part in this as well, but it could be the smallest machine here. I think I found Asia's, or Taiwan's biggest fan of Swarfer chips, and as much as it pains me to say, Lindsay's biggest fan. So, Paulina, well, tell me about yourself, the company, Swarfer chips. 
So my name is Paulina Tarnowska and I'm sales representative of Asia Pacific Elite Corporation. We are five axis manufacturer and uh, we are based in Taichung, Taiwan. And I love you guys like seriously because like I'm a new salesperson and I feel like you are doing a great job in explaining I, I'm learning with you, so I'm really, I'm really happy that you are here. I just want to clarify, we haven't paid Paulina any money, so she's found no, us. No, 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 like, I, Lindsay, like, seriously, like, you are so cool. We've yeah. just found a huge fan of Swarford Chips. What did you tell us, Patrick? Hello, it's Apec, I'm Patrick. I love MTD, uh, I love Lindsay, I love Swarf and Chips. Thank you. <laughs> So I'm here now in Hall 1. Now this is all about uh, fabrication, sheet metal forming, bending, laser cutting, and anything associated with those processes can be found in here, in this hall. the first time I've seen this new machine from Victor, uh, obviously available in the UK, Victor CNC. But this is an X400, this is a VMT X400. They're now going into the multitasking uh, arena and you can see that this machine is ideal for the type of applications that you've got here on this oil and gas industry, uh, you know, the nuclear sector, uh, power generation, any component that is large and needs lots of features machining on it here. You've got full B axis on this machine, uh, twin spindle. Uh, would you believe it? It weighs a whopping 23 and a half tons, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be a very powerful workhorse. You've got HSK 63, uh, 12,000 RPM spindle in the in the B axis, and it's a quite a fast machine as well at 42 meters a minute. Uh, overall, if you're looking at turning longer parts, machining longer parts, this has over two meters in the z-axis as well. Uh, quite an incredible bit of technology here on show on the Victor Taichung stand. Well, I recently visited High Tech Aerospace and Coventry who are masters of EDM. So what I thought I'd do is I'll pop to Tim Toz 2019, find out a bit more about EDM. Now, Clark, yes. what's going on here? Uh, here for a small uh, mole, we need to uh, drill and uh, sinking. So we use a small erector, like a drill and turn, faster than just uh, uh, going down for yep. tire sinking. Okay, so normally with EDM sink, the electrode is just going straight into the yes. component, and with fast hole drilling, obviously, but this is combining the two. Yes. Okay, and why such a small machine? A very small, very small machine. Yeah, uh, size uh, around uh, 150, yeah. uh, 110, and 107 in Z-axis. Oh, okay. Now, what I've also noticed, this an engineer's, I'm... engineer's dream, manual controls. Yes, correct. Okay. Why manual controls? Though? Why not CNC? Uh, it's uh, more uh, convenient and easy to learn. Just uh, turn in the uh, uh, button, then you could uh, easy then CNC oh. for program. There you go. You heard that from Clark. Manual is easier than CNC on an EDM. Looking at different machines, this one's quite interesting that I've come across. This is actually on the Rong Fu industrial stand, a uh, five axis machine. It's actually a four plus one, but depending on the control that you buy, you can actually do uh, five axis simultaneous machining. Now, why would you be interested in this machine? Basically, because of the size of it. Look how compact it is. Uh, and it actually has a very high speed spindle on this as well. I think it's 30,000 RPM. So, if you're doing small components, you need precision at high speeds. Not only that, I've been told it's incredibly affordable, made here in Taiwan and available throughout the world. Can't believe it. Travelled 8,000 miles, we get clobbered by Clyde from Fast Cut. First thing you said, Clyde, you who did you recognise first? I'm big fans of your YouTube. Um, 
we literally watch every your new video every time when you upload it. It's a really educational channel Brilliant. from the uh, Mission Tool Builders as well. Yeah. Oh, great testimony. And no, we haven't paid him anything. The, the painful thing is, though, he actually ran up and said, Paul, I recognise you from MTD. It's a fantastic YouTube channel. Don't tell him that, though, please. But also, our presenter on Swarf Chips. Yeah, the girl's hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, moving on swiftly, let's find out about a bit of engineering. Clyde, what have we got going on in the background here? So, basically our company is focusing on center drive lathes. So we try to hold the middle part of uh, parts, and then we do the turning from the both side. And then eventually, five, five years ago, we start to develop, develop our center spindle. So we have a two cylinder inside the spindle, so we can clump two parts at the same time. And um, usually we are really focusing on OP10. Uh, so we do the OAL and then the center drill. And uh, we think we should um, prolong, you know, um, provide more product to our customer. So here comes is our OP20. We clump two parts at the same time. And then with the programmable tower stock, and with this, we design our own automation to provide our customer a complete turnkey solution. Uh, I'm watching NDD. Also, I have a sub subscribe your channel on YouTube. Oh. Yeah, do you That's like that? Quite good. Yes. Oh. Who's the best? Me or Paul? Me. Yes, you you always the best. <laughs> <laughs> See, and there's no cash exchanger. Do you uh, have you seen Lindsay? Lindsay? Yeah. Uh, no. no. <laughs> See, once again, Lindsay, sorry about that.